In this example, we consider a wild sensor station random process X of T, and then we give it to a mixer. That means that we multiply it by e to the power j omega t. So this is a conventional uh, mixer which is used in uh, um, all of your cell phones. So um, uh, we want to see uh, what will happen in a mixer. So a mixer is described by uh, input-output relationship. So x of t, it is multiplied by a pure complex sinusoidal e to the power j omega naught t. Remember that this has cosine of omega naught t and then plus j times sine of omega naught t. Okay, and then you get y of t. So um, here, remember that if I calculate magnitude of y of t is equal to magnitude of e to the power j omega naught t x of t, and magnitude of product is equal to magnitude of e to the power j omega naught t, and then magnitude of x of t, so uh, is equal to magnitude of this one, so is magnitude of x of t. So the envelope of your output an envelope of your input, which is magnitude of that, is centenary. So remember that this is equal to square root of the real part of x of t to the power of 2 plus imaginary part of x of t to the power of 2. So, so the magnitude of that is not changed. It's the same as magnitude of the input. However, if I calculate phase of y of t is equal to... Um, from this is going to be j omega naught t plus phase of x of t. So it means that the only you modify the phase of your signal. And it is called a mixer. So what happens is that if I calculate the uh, Utkul function of the output, this is equal to mean of y of t1, y of t2, and I conjugate on the second one. So uh, I use this equation I, for the y t1. So I get mean of uh, e to the power of j omega naught t1 and then x of t1. And then I put e to the power of j omega naught t2 x of t2. However, I have to put a conjugate on this whole thing. Okay, so uh, what I see here is that conjugate of e to the power j uh, omega naught t2 will become e to the power minus j omega naught t2. So I get e mean of e to the power of j omega naught t1, e to the power of minus j omega naught t2, x of t1, x of t2, and a conjugate here. So these two guys, first of all, they simplify. Second of all, it is not random, it's constant. Comes out of expectation operation, becomes e to the power of j omega naught t omega naught t1 minus t2. And then you get mean of these, which is r x x of t1 and t2. Now, if the random process x of t is... Uh, wide sense of stationary, this guy is only a function of time time difference, so it's equal to R X X of 2, and this is also e to the power j omega naught uh, uh, 2 um, or minus 2, because we define 2 be equal to T2 minus T1. So uh, I uh, write this one, and then obviously you see that our yy becomes um, equal, so here I defined t1 equal to um, t1 minus t2 equal to 2. So in that case, is like that if you mix it, then the autocorrelation function of the output is equal to autocorrelation function of input mixed or is its frequency is up converted or down converted. This is better seen if you take a Fourier transform from this relationship. So if you apply 
XF to, uh, to a mixer, and if they are wide sense stationary, the autocorrelation function is going to go to the same system. Okay, so this is this is what you see. Now, we cannot apply Fourier transform here because Fourier transform of this one does not exist. Fourier transform of this one does not exist neither. However, you can apply it here. So if you do that, um, uh, what we see is that the power respect of Fourier transform of that S X X of omega becomes equal to sorry S Y Y become S X X of omega minus omega naught, which means that whatever frequency content or power you have at frequency omega becomes at frequency omega minus omega naught, which is a shift in frequency domain. So this means that the mixer trans transfer transfers the power density from omega to omega plus omega naught. That means that if you have energy in frequency zero, they will be transferred to frequency omega naught.